verse, start reading at about verse number 12. Philippians, the third chapter, and we'll start at verse 12, I believe it is. <coughs> Philippians chapter two, uh, 3, and in verse number passage of scripture that uh, we've looked at it several times, uh, but it bears repeating. <clears throat> and the Bible says, Philippians chapter 3 and verse 12, and the Bible says, not as though I had already attained either were already per perfect, but I follow after that I may apprehend that for which I am also apprehended of Christ Jesus. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high call in Christ Jesus. Uh, and you know, we often hear uh, people say, well, nobody's perfect. Mm -hmm. And, and, and but, but Paul's approach here is saying he recognized that he's not perfect but he didn't just settle for not being perfect. And, 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 and so he says here, uh, not as though I had already attained, either were already perfect, but I follow after. He understood that, well, no, no I, I, I may have some shortcomings, but I, I'm going to pursue perfection. But we're in an age now where uh, people just settle for being, you know, they don't even try to do better. But see, when you learn better, you ought to do better. <clears throat> Not as though I had already attained, either were already perfect, but I follow after, if that I may apprehend that for which also I am apprehended, of Christ Jesus. Because I want to attain that. See, in one place, Paul said he was the prisoner of Jesus Christ. You know, when, when, when you're in prison, you don't get to do what you want to do. Uh, you know, uh, they have you go to bed when they tell you to go to bed. Now, if you you may not be sleepy, but they're gonna you gotta go to your cell and they're gonna turn on they say lights out, they're gonna turn those lights off. Now you but but you you're not gonna be up walking around. <clears throat> you dress how they say dress. You know, they have a they issue you a prison uniform. Amazing to me and how you know you try, try to teach uh people you know how to dress, you know, dress according to holiness. Well they always want to say, Well, that's your opinion. You know, but you can accept when you go to the army, they issue you uniform. You accept that. And then he says, verse 13, brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind. And it, this is, it, is why people can't make progress. You know, because they're always stuck in the past. 
They want to focus on those things that, that happened, uh, uh, you know, years ago. You, you, can't, you can't do that. What, what happened years ago, it, 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 there's nothing you can do about what happened 10 years ago. That has already happened, and you have to move forward. So he said, brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which were behind and reaching forward to those things which are before. See, if you're constantly dwelling on the past, you'll mess up your future. You mess up your present, and you mess up your future. Some people, that they're hung up on stuff that happened back in 1970-something, back in 1980-something, and that they're, all, they're always mad, they, and, 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 and they can't enjoy the present. And if you can't enjoy the present, you're going to wind up messing up your future. In verse 14, he says here, but I press toward the mark. And that, that word press lets me know that it, it, it's, it's not convenient. It's not easy. I, I, I press. Sometimes I don't feel like it. Sometimes I, it, 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 it's burdensome. Sometimes it's hard, but I, I do it anyway. I press toward the mark, toward the prize of the high call in Christ Jesus. This is a high call. And, and it's not going to be easy. If you're going to serve God, it's going to cost you something. And I remember when I was a little boy, they would sing up that song. Sing that song uh, it's based on the scripture. It said, count up the cost. It takes to serve the Lord. It's going to cost you something. And, and a lot of folks, you, you, and some things you don't necessarily want to give up. But I know I want to be saved. So I press through that. I press through the fact that I enjoy, uh, you know, I enjoy relationships. But because this relationship is not conducive to me being saved, I have to press through, through that fact. I press through being lonely sometimes. I press through being ostracized. I press through being ridiculed because I want the prize of the high call in Christ Jesus. I press through uh, family members turning their back on you. So he, he says here, I press toward the mark, toward the prize of the high call in Christ Jesus. Look, if you will, at the book of Hebrews. Hebrews uh, chapter 12, amen, amen. Hebrews chapter 12. <clears throat> Hebrews chapter 12, and we'll start reading at verse 1. Hebrews chapter 12, and at verse 1. Now, if I had to title this little talk, I would just use uh, uh, verse 14 of uh, Philippians uh Chapter 3, verse 14, where it says, uh, I press toward the mark. All right, Hebrews chapter 12 and at verse 1, and the Bible says, Wherefore seeing we are also, wherefore seeing we are, we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. If you're gonna if you're gonna get into the kingdom of God, you're gonna have to run with patience. The race that's set before you, you're gonna have to persevere. Okay, all right. Uh, uh, verse two, and the Bible says, "Looking to Jesus, looking to Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Looking to Jesus. We can't be looking uh, at anybody else." Uh, you know, people get caught up with the issues of this world, and 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 when we're faced with problems, we tend to want to 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 magnify our problems instead of magnify God. <clears throat> Looking to Jesus, the Author and the Finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before Him endured the cross. See, Jesus had to press. Through uh, to going to the cross. He didn't want to do it. He prayed about it and prayed about it and prayed about it. He did, and the Father didn't answer him. And then finally he said, Nevertheless, not my will, but thy will be done. Looking to Jesus. That was our example. Jesus was our example. Looking to Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. 
who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. <clears throat> okay, now now go go over to uh, the book of Matthew. Matthew. Matthew chapter 9. Matthew chapter 9. We'll pick it up at verse 20. Amen, amen. Praise the Lord. Matthew chapter 9 and at verse 20. Now we're talking about pressing toward the mark. Matthew chapter 9. Matthew chapter 9 and verse 20. And the word of God says, And behold, a woman with the issue, a, a woman with, which was diseased with an issue of blood 12 years, came behind him and touched the hem of his garment. All right. okay. Verse 21, he said, For she said within herself, If I may touch the hem of his garment, I shall behold. Now, now we're talking about pressing toward the mark. Okay, uh, look at at Luke's. I like Luke's version of this story. Also, Luke, Luke chapter eight. Luke chapter eight. Luke chapter eight. Luke chapter eight. <clears throat> and we'll pick it up. Pick it up at verse forty-three. Luke chapter 8 and at verse 43. Luke chapter uh, 8 and at verse 43 and the word of God says, A woman having an issue of blood 12 years, which spent all her living upon physicians, neither could be healed of any. So this woman had this, this, this problem for 12 years. And she went to doctor after doctor after doctor until she spent all of her money up. And still didn't get any better. So so that right there for all you people who are, are listening to these preachers to tell you to send them an offering and somehow God going gonna, to uh, bless you. God is obligated to bless you right here. This woman didn't have nothing. <clears throat> so what would that little preacher do for you uh, uh, if you don't have any money? And the woman having an issue of blood 12 years, which had spent all her living upon physicians, yeah. neither could be healed of any, <clears throat> came behind and touched the border of his garment, and immediately her issue of blood was staunch. Now, we, we read over in Matthew, Matthew's account, for she said, which she said within herself, if I can but touch the hem of his garment, I shall be made whole. Okay, but now we understand that uh, uh, <clears throat> there were a crowd of people around Jesus. And she knew that, that she wanted to be healed. She wanted to be delivered. <clears throat> so she had to press her way to Jesus. <clears throat> okay, verse 44, watch this now. And she said, and came behind him and touched the border of his garment and immediately... The issue of blood was staunched. It stopped. Okay, verse 45. And Jesus said, who touched me? When all denied, Peter and they that were with him said, Master, the multitude thronged thee and pressed thee, and thou sayest, who touched me? No, 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 Peter is saying, okay, but well, well, now look, oh Lord, all these people around you, and you talking about who touched you? And Jesus said, somebody has touched me, for I perceive that virtue has gone out of me. Somebody, this touch was different. Yeah. Yeah. She, forgetting those things which were behind. See, see, this lady could have just given up. I, I've been to all kind of doctors. 
I've been to all kinds of specialists. I don't have no more money. She could have gave up. But no, 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 no. But she said within herself, if I can get to Jesus. Now, remember, we just read over in, 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 in Hebrews we see where it says, looking to Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Yes. <clears throat> okay, amen, amen. So so now, now Jesus said, no, 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 somebody touched me. Did this was this wasn't folk brushing up against me. This was different because this woman had pressed toward the mark, toward the prize of the high call in Christ Jesus. Okay, okay. Somebody has touched me, for I perceive that virtue is gone out of me. And when the woman saw, and when the woman saw that she was not hid, she came trembling and fell down before him. And she declared unto him before all the people for what cause she had touched him and how she was healed immediately. And he said unto her, Daughter, be of good comfort. Thy faith hath made thee whole. If you press to Jesus, press toward Jesus. See, see, folks are pressing for, for any and everything else but to Jesus. They, they press to, to vote. They stand in long lines to vote. They press uh, 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 to get into store to buy a certain item. You know, the, the iPhone come out on a certain day. They stand even camp out. They, they pitch tents and stand outside a store overnight to get an iPhone, to get a pair of uh, uh, Michael Jordan tennis shoes. But when it comes to the things of God. See, this lady had a, a horrible, horrific experience for 12 years. But, but Paul said, forgetting those things which are behind. Yes, yes, yes I, I've been dealing with this for a while. Mm -hmm. I, I don't have any more money, but, but Jesus is coming through here. Mm -hmm. And if I could just get to Jesus, mm -hmm. I'll be made whole. <clears throat> well, so where are you today? What are you, or what are you going through? Mm -hmm. If you can just get to Jesus, yeah. you'll be made whole. Mm -hmm. Never mind what happened in the past. Yes, folks have given up on you. Yes, they wrote you off. Yeah, they talked about you. Yes, they ridiculed you. But if you can just get to Jesus, I press taught the mark, taught the prize of the high call in Christ Jesus. Amen, amen. All right, look at Luke chapter 19 now. Luke chapter 19. Praise the Lord. No matter what you, where you are now, you can, you, if, you, if you can get to Jesus, Luke chapter 19, Luke chapter 19, and we'll start reading at verse 1. <clears throat> amen, amen. <clears throat> Luke chapter 19, and at verse 1, and the Bible says, And Jesus entered into, entered and passed through Jericho. And behold, there was a certain man named Zacchaeus, which was chief among the publicans, and was rich. And, the, and he sought to see Jesus who he was, and could not for the press because he was little in stature. Now remember the subject, our press taught the mark, taught the prize of the high call in Christ Jesus. All right, now now he said, now he sought to see Jesus, who he was, and could not for the press because there was a crowd of people around Jesus, all right, and he said because he was little in stature, he was short. He was a short man. And, and this whole crowd of folks around Jesus, but he wanted to see Jesus. Yeah. <clears throat> How bad do you want something? Now watch this, watch this. Okay, verse 4. Now, the Bible says, And he ran forth and climbed into a sycamore tree to see him, for he was, pa he was to pass that way. He didn't let the fact that he was short stop him. He didn't let the fact that there was a crowd of people around him and that he was short stop him. He wanted to see Jesus. Looking to Jesus, who's the author and the finisher of, of our faith. Paul said, I press toward the mark. <clears throat> All right, look at verse 5 now. And the Bible says, and when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him. See, God recognized effort. 
Well, and, and, and in fact, over in the book of James, the Bible says if you draw nigh to him, he'll draw nigh to you. <clears throat> All right. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said unto Zacchaeus, make haste and come down for today. I must abide at thy house. Now, if Zacchaeus never would have uh, uh, climbed up that tree, if he would say, well, there's too many people around him, and I'm short, it's no use. But no, Zacchaeus pressed toward the mark, toward the prize of the high call in Christ Jesus. He didn't let that stop him. So, so in our journey in this life, we'll be faced with difficulty. We'll be faced with hardship, but we can't let that stop us. Okay, all right? Cause look at what now Jesus said, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down, for today I must abide at thy house. <clears throat> and I can tell you today that Jesus is on his way by. Will you press towards him? All right, all right? At verse 6, 9, the Bible says, and he made haste. And came down and received him joyfully. And when he saw it, they all murmured, saying that he was going to be the guest with this man that is a sinner. See, and when, when, when God bless you, oh, you're going to have some haters now. You know, that folks going to talk about you. Just get ready for it. But, but, but the, the thing about it, David said, he will prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Mm -hmm. All right, all right now. And, and verse 8 now, and Zac the Bible says, And Zacchaeus stood and said unto the Lord, Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor, and if I have taken anything from any man by false accusations, I restore him fourfold. In verse 9, watch this. And Jesus said unto him, This day is salvation come to this house. For as much as he also is a son of Abraham, for the Son of Man is not come to seek that to, is not come to seek and to save. But, well, let me read that again. For the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. <clears throat> Zacchaeus pressed, taught them all. Toward the prize of the high call in Christ Jesus. Amen, amen. All right, one more scripture, and we'll get ready to let you go. Look at Mark now. Mark, chapter 10. Mark, chapter 10. Praise the Lord. Mark, chapter 10. Mark, chapter 10, and uh, we'll start reading at verse number 46. Amen, amen. Praise the Lord. Mark chapter 6 and at verse, uh, Mark chapter 10, I'm sorry. Mark chapter 10 and at verse 46. The subject is, I press toward the mark, toward the prize of the high call in Christ Jesus. All right. Mark chapter 10 and at verse 46 in the Bible says, And they came to Jericho, and as he went throughout Jericho with his disciples and a great number of people, there it is again, a, a great number of people. <clears throat> all right, all right. Blind Bartimaeus, the son of, Tim of Timaeus, set by the highway side begging. All right, all right. And, and the Bible says, okay, uh, uh, at verse 47, the Bible says, And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, thy son of David, have mercy on me. See, he heard, you know, he, he heard that somebody was passing through that could do something about his situation. Verse 48, and the Bible says, And many... And many charged him that he should hold his peace. And many told him to hush. Many charged him that he should hold his peace. Folks are always trying to talk talk you out of your blessing now. But but Paul said, I press taught the mark. I press taught the, 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 the mark. And and many charged him that he should hold his peace. They were shushing him. Telling them to be quiet. Okay. But watch this. Watch this. And as as many. And many charged him that he should hold his peace. Watch, look, look, look. 
but he cried the more a great deal. That didn't stop him. He just got louder. Mm -hmm. I press toward the mark. Yeah. <clears throat> but he cried the more a great deal. Thy son of David, have mercy on me. Yeah, look, look, I don't care what y'all say. I'm blind and I want my sight. Mm -hmm. Paul said, looking to Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Look, I, I don't care how y'all think it looks. See, you just because you so dignified and, and uppity. No, no, no. I, 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 this is between me and God. Uh, Zacchaeus could have stopped it. But no, no, I'm short. But I, I, I may look like a fool climbing up that tree. But I got to see Jesus. I got to see Jesus for myself. Yeah, don't, don't they talking about me, but that's okay. I got to see Jesus. I press toward the mark. Okay, okay, now he says that, and many charged him that he should hold his peace. They were telling him to be quiet. But he cried the more a great deal. See, see, it, it, it might seem like you, 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 you're not getting any result. And folks are telling you just to give up, but but you need to cry the more. Pray that's just that much longer. Don't 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 turn loose because that's what the devil wants you to do. But he cried the more a great deal, and thou son of David, have mercy on me. Verse forty nine. And Jesus stood still. Oh, he got Jesus' attention. He got Jesus' attention. I'm going to tell you, you can get Jesus' attention today. You can still get his attention. <clears throat> and, and Jesus stood still and commanded him to be called. And they called the blind man, saying unto him, Be of good comfort. Rise, he calleth thee. Oh, now it changed. They went from telling him to hush, but ten, now, they, now, now they tell him it's going to be all right now. Okay, well, verse 50, watch this. And he cast away his garment, arose, and came to Jesus. And Jesus answered and said unto him, What would thou that I should do unto thee? What, did, what you want? And the blind man said unto him, Lord, that I might receive my sight. Okay, and verse 52. And Jesus said unto him, Go thy way, thy faith. Have made thee whole, watch, and immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus in the way. He but he had to press to get there. See, see, he, he didn't stop. Because folks were, were telling him in the hush. Folks were looking if no now they were looking at him crazy. This thing all that old hollering. Won't he just hush up? No, no, no. I got to get to Jesus. No matter what, I got to get to Jesus. No matter who who talking about me, I got to get to Jesus. No matter who stop stop hanging out with me, I got to get to Jesus. I press toward the mark, toward the prize of the high call in Christ Jesus. Let me show you one more thing, and I'm gonna get out of here. Go into the Old Testament to First uh, Samuel. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. First Samuel chapter thirty. First Samuel chapter thirty. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. First Samuel chapter 30. Amen, amen. First Samuel chapter 30, all right. Uh, now, now this is, of course, we know this, this story. We've looked at it before where uh, David um, has gone out to battle. And, and uh, well, we'll just read down through it real quick. First uh, Samuel chapter 30 and verse 1. And the Bible says, And it came to pass when David and his men were come to Ziklag on the third day that the Amalekite had invaded the south of Ziklag and smitten Ziklag and burned it with fire. <clears throat> verse 2. And had taken the women captive that were therein. They slew not any. Neither, either great or small, but carried them away and went that way. So David and his men came to the city, and behold, it was burned with fire, and their wives and their sons and their daughters were taken captive. Then David and the people that were with him lifted up their voice and wept 
until they could, they had no more power to weep. They cried until they couldn't cry anymore. <clears throat> okay, okay. And David's two wives were taken captive. Ahinonim, the Jezreelite, and Abigail, the wife of Nabal, the Camelite. All right, verse 6 now. And David was greatly distressed, for the people spake of stoning him, because the souls of all the people were grieved. Every man for his son and for his daughters, but David encouraged himself in the Lord. Okay, verse 7, watch this now. Verse 7, now remember the subject Paul said, I press taught the more, taught the prize of the high call in Christ Jesus. Verse 7, watch this. And David said to Abthar, the priest, <clears throat> Ahimelech's son, I pray thee, bring me hither the ephod, and Abthar brought hither the ephod to David. And David inquired at the Lord. What, what, now, now, now remember, we read over in Hebrews, Paul said, looking to Jesus. <clears throat> so so what, what, look now in, in verse 8 now. And David inquired at the Lord. He didn't inquire on no psychic. He didn't, he didn't Google nothing. He didn't get on the internet. The Bible says, and David inquired at the Lord, saying, shall I pursue after this truth? Shall I overtake them? And, ask, and he answered him, Pursue, for thou shalt surely overtake them, and without fail. He inquired at the Lord, even though he was faced with a, a very difficult situation, even though he was faced with tremendous difficulty, he inquired of the Lord. And that's what you need to do today. If you're faced with a difficult situation, you're faced with difficult circumstances, no, 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 don't pick up the phone and call your friends. Inquire at the Lord. You got to press toward the mark. Your friend ain't the mark. Your mama ain't the mark. Your pastor ain't the mark. You, you got to get to Jesus. I press toward the mark, toward the prize of the high call in Christ Jesus. Amen, amen, and we'll leave it right there. We thank God for you. We thank God for all things in the name of the Lord Jesus. I hope I said something to help somebody. Amen.